So this video is, um, I'm going to call it pinup look, I suppose. Um, it's simple, every, everyday makeup. I bought all these products at Target um, because I can't afford expensive things. Um, I've already put on my primer, concealer, and base, and it looks like I'm wearing lipstick, but, um, I put that on earlier and I tried to wash it off, so whatever. Um, the concealer I used was just this CoverGirl Focus, whatever. CoverGirl, um, Fresh Complexion, whatever color you need. Classic Ivory, that's always my skin tone, it's Classic Ivory. Um, that on my eyes is just a really cheap blending brush that I got in like one of those packages that has a bunch of different brushes in it. Um, then I used um, CoverGirl Nature Lux. Nature Lux, I don't know. 320. It's got a little bit of an SPF in it. Um, I actually really like it. That's the first time I've used it. Um, it kind of feels a little bit cakey, but not bad enough to where it matters. Um, now, got to get situated. What I'm going to do is um, just put some powder on, just to kind of set um, my base, I guess. And I use the brush that comes with it. I'm using um, True Blend Minerals by CoverGirl. It's 405. Numbers don't matter to me, but hey. It's really hard to see on the computer screen what's going on. But you know what? I'm going to make it work. And I'm not going to use a lot of this because I... I don't know. I just... The only thing I hate about this is it's fuzzy and it sticks to your base. Which, but then you have the little fuzzies all over your face and it's just annoying. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighting maybe a little bit of shadowing um, not very much I have this um, true match L'Oreal true match and it's a little bit as you can see it's actually a lot a bit darker than my um, actual skin tone because um, you only want to really do it's actually for this is my theater makeup so it turned out to be a lot um, different than my skin, but that's okay because you want it to be really dark in theater, but not so much in real life. So I'm just going to use this really crappy brush, it's not an angle brush. You should use an angle brush, but I'm just going to tap um, a little bit on the corner. Just gonna kind of work that into the cheap crease. And don't just do it here. I see a lot of people that do that. It looks really strange. Don't do that. Um, push it up onto your cheekbone. That's the word I'm looking for. Angle brush really helps with that, but don't have one, so we make do. Now I have another one of this girl's stuff. I really like her stuff, actually. I don't know who she is. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I have a lot of her stuff. Um, this is just the Flamingo 97. It's blush. So take the same brush that you just used, which is probably bad, but whatever. It's really pink. I just like it because it's so pink. Not too much of it. Okay, and that's pretty much all that I'm gonna do on my face, I believe. Got coverage. I still got hair dye. I dyed my hair again last night and got hair dye on my face so excuse that 
Next, I have um, two colors that, I mean, you can use. I don't know what this is. I bought it at, actually bought this at a CVS. I've never heard of this brand before. Palladio. Um, I mean, it works just fine. So, And then this is the L'Oreal um, Neutral Palette. I can't read that. It looks like it says 821 neutral palette. This one is different because it just has a little bit of shimmer. They're similar colors, but um, this Palladio palette has a little bit more shimmer in it. So I am going to put the non-shimmery one on first. Just all over my eye. Okay, so we have white. Now just I'm going to put this over it just because, I mean, it's the same exact color. It's not going to do anything except for make it a little bit shimmery and possibly a little bit darker. Eyes. Now, I got this palette. Um, not palette. It's just some three colors. It's Almay Intense Color. I got this a long time ago, like when I was in, like, the seventh grade. And um, I never really used it, and I found it in my drawer. A couple days ago, so I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna use this um, gold color at the bottom. It comes out kind of brown on your eye, though. So I'm just gonna work this into my crease. Um, next we're going to do our eyeliner. This does not have a brand on it. I just bought it. I have no idea what brand it is. It is Target. Oh wait. It's L'Oreal. I can't read anything else but um, liquid eyeliner. It just comes in a little, little felt tip. I Okay, there's no way I can do this in this in my webcam. So I'm going to go do this. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my eyes lined. As you can see, I just used it. I just started in the corner, went out, and got a little thicker as I went out. And then I did this little wing. I mean, if it really matters to anyone, you can request a video on how to do that. And I'll um, post a video on how to use liquid eyeliner, which nobody will. So, um, But yeah, that's what that is. And I didn't put any on the bottom because... I just don't. Um, next we're going to do mascara and I'm just doing, um, I bought these at Belk. Actually, I think this is the most expensive thing that I have in my makeup collection, if you will. Um, these are Clinique. It's the Volume, no, it's the High Impact Mascara. And it comes with the primer before. And I, it just makes you feel better to put on primer and mascara, I guess. I don't know. But um, we're just going to put these on. This is basically the look. We just have lips left, and um, I did my lips earlier, so they're already kind of red. But um, if you have kind of thin lips like mine, um, you can use liner. I just bought this, never used a liner before. Doesn't really make a difference. It might make you feel better, but um, for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to use it because it just makes me look stupid. So. Um, but lip liner, this is L'Oreal Color Riche, um, always red, it's just like the most red one I could find at Target. Then I get this, which I love, this lipstick, it is so red, it's Hot Passions, number 305, it's CoverGirl, not L'Oreal, CoverGirl. Um, and it's so red, I just love it. 
and everybody knows how to put lipstick on, so I'm not going to tell you how to do that. So this is basically it. The lipstick really makes it. I love wearing lipstick all the time. Um, my hair is going to be terrible when I take it down. Um, if you watch through the whole, the whole way through this video, God bless your heart. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not claiming to be a makeup guru. I actually know nothing about makeup in any way. I just enjoy doing it. So, um, but yeah, this is the look. Nothing really special. It's kind of pin up -y looking, I guess. Vintage. I don't really know what you call it. So, um, I'll post pictures with my hair all done. Maybe, hopefully. I don't really know. But, um, Thanks for watching so much, and I should have kept my hair up. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Bye, guys.